What's up Boogie Lights fans? So today I'm here to talk to you a little bit about how to operate our Bluetooth controllers. So what you're looking at right here is our new Bluetooth and RF key fob combo controller. Uh, this is new as of April 1st, uh, but this instructional video will work for any of our Bluetooth controllers. So if you've purchased a Bluetooth controller in the past year to two years, uh, this video will work just fine. Uh, let's go ahead and see how we got this wired up and let's get started. So right here we have our combo controller hooked up just like any of our standard multicolor remotes. Um, for more information on that right there, you can visit our install page on boogielights.com. Uh, we have this powered up through a 110 volt converter. Uh, you can also use a 12 volt DC supply, some sort of converter, or just straight from the 12 volt itself. All right, so once you get your Boogie Lights app downloaded and installed, uh, you want to make sure you have your controller unit hooked up properly. Once that's good to go, go ahead and open the Boogie Lights app. Now what you're looking at here is our first of two different color modes that we offer. Uh, Boogie Lights offers a multicolor mode. Uh, right here you'll see the red, green, blue sliders. This is our multicolor mode. We also offer a three zone single color mode. So for those of you that have bought um, single color, and you want to put them into these three different zones and control those zones individually, uh, this is how you'll get to that mode. You'll click Setup in the top right corner. I want you to turn on your Bluetooth now. Since this is a Bluetooth device, we're going to go ahead and allow that. Change color mode. Uh, and you'll see right there we have a three zone single color mode. Press the Restart and Selected mode. And now you'll see that you are in your three zone single color mode. For this video, we're going to focus on our multicolor mode. Uh, this will be in another video, so let's go back to our multicolor mode. Set up, change color mode, right back to the multicolor mode. So here we are in our multicolor mode. So we're going to go ahead and connect our lights. To do that, you're going to click set up in the top right corner. You're going to scan and wait for your device to appear. And once you see your device appear, you're just going to go ahead and click on that, select that device, and you're going to wait for this little link right here to turn orange. When it's not connected, it's a it's a gray uh, broken link and when it connects it will um, link together and turn orange just like that. So that's how you know your lights are uh, ready to be turned on and, and ready to be played with. So you can go ahead down here in the bottom right, go ahead and turn your lights on. So now you see our lights are on. Um, you can use these sliders to get up to 16 million different color combinations. So if you want just red, you would drag those down and get just red. If you wanted a pink or a purple, you would drag your blue and your reds together uh, to get that color combination. Say you wanted orange. Um, so yeah, you get the idea. You, you move these sliders um, to whatever color you would like to create. Now if you look closely on this fourth slider down here is a light bulb. This is our brightness. So you can see the lights dim. Uh, even though it's a little hard to tell in a lighted area like this, you can still see them dim right now. They're off when you turn them all the way down. Uh, the fifth slider down here is a little bunny rabbit. That speeds up and slows down um, the speed of our functions down here across the bottom. But before we get to that, uh, let me show you how to save some presets. So preset one, uh, say you want your preset one to be any one of these functions. Uh, let's make it F3. So F3 is a multicolor flashing. As you can see, it's flashing colors. Um, if you want F3 to be your preset 1, you're going to hit save preset and it's going to ask you, do you want to save this preset 1, 2, or 3? Uh, select the, the preset you want uh, saved. And now you'll see that when I come back to preset 1, voila, F3 is already saved there. Now you can do that. You have the option of doing that to three different presets. So now we're going to go through these seven functions down here real quick. Uh, F1 is just a steady on, so if you want just white to light your campground, uh, that's the default function that's going to come on. Now if you want to get a little flashy with it, um, we'll go ahead and turn this rabbit up to speed up the function so you can get the idea. Uh, F2 is going to be a single color strobing. F3 is going to be a multicolor strobing. F4 is going to be just a plain color changing. F5 is going to be a single color breathing, F6 is going to be a multicolor breathing, and F7, my favorite, is a multicolor blending, or fading, I think it is that we call it. So there you have it. There's your seven functions, how to operate the multicolor mode. Um, we ran through the sliders, the brightness, the presets, 
Um, pretty simple stuff. If you have any questions or any difficulties whatsoever, feel free to give us a call uh, and talk to one of our, um, our tech reps. They'll be more than happy to help you uh, through any of this. And as well, all of this is on our website under our install page. Uh, lots of troubleshooting information. Um, so if you have any problems there, feel free to check the website or just give us a call. Uh, we're always here to help. And thank you guys. Uh, light them up and ride safe.